Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make text follow a mask path, and how to perfectly track that mask in a video. Normally, you could just mask out the wheel and track it using Mocha AE or even the built-in After Effects masking tools. But in this case, I want to show you a slightly more advanced masking method that gives us a cleaner and more accurate result. Let's begin by clicking on Track Camera and wait for After Effects to finish analyzing. Once it's done, I'll select all the track points that are located on the wheel to get a more accurate track. In my case, the tracking target that appears is a bit too large, and if we create a solid from it, the solid will also be oversized. So, I'll simply adjust the target and make it slightly smaller, while still keeping it big enough to cover the wheel. Now I'll right-click on the selected points and choose Create Solid and Camera. Now make sure the Track Solid layer is selected, then grab the Ellipse tool and draw a circular mask directly on top of the Track Solid. Hold Shift while dragging to make sure the mask stays perfectly round. Now press M on your keyboard to reveal the mask, then change the mask mode to subtract so the mask inverts. From here, start adjusting the mask until the circle fits perfectly on the wheel. Once you're done with the corrections, scrub through the timeline to make sure the mask sticks properly to the wheel. Now, if you toggle off the track solid, you'll see that we have a perfectly tracked mask sitting right on the wheel. From this point, we can create a new text layer and make it follow that mask path. Let's type something, for example, AM Film Tutorial. Now to make the text follow the wheel 100% perfectly, it's very important to first enable 3D on the text layer. After that, hold Shift on your keyboard, then grab the pick whip from the text layer and drag it onto the track solid layer. Holding shift while parenting makes sure the text snaps directly to the same position, rotation, and scale as the track solid, which means it will stick to the wheel perfectly. Now that we have the text perfectly tracked to the wheel, we should also apply the mask to the text so it follows the same circular path. To do that, select the track solid layer and press M on your keyboard to reveal the mask. Then simply copy the mask and paste it onto the text layer. Now your text layer has the same path, and we can make it flow along that path exactly as we want. Now expand the text layer settings, then open path options. Under path, select mask 1. As you can see the text is now aligned to the mask, but it's appearing inside the wheel. To fix this, simply enable reverse path and the text will flip to the outside of the wheel, exactly where we want it. Now the text looks a bit too large for me. To fix this, I'll highlight the text, then go to the text settings panel and simply adjust the font size until it fits better around the wheel. Here you can also change the font style and the color if you'd like, to match your design. Once you're happy with the look of the text, let's animate it along the mask path. To do this, under the path options of the text layer, increase or decrease first margin. Set the starting point by moving the playhead to where you want the animation to begin. Then click the stopwatch icon next to first margin to add a keyframe. Now move the playhead forward in time and gradually increase the first margin value until the text animates all the way around the wheel. And that's it, the text now smoothly follows the mask path. You can even experiment by creating different mask paths to get creative text animations that follow any custom shape. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.